good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Uh, I was going to upload what in the skill quest for Gideon versus the Titan, but I have not been able to get through that without it crashing, unfortunately. I don't think it's something on my end. I think it's something in the program, unfortunately, which means we may have to revisit this later. So let's uh, let's do something else that's fun. Let's see what's in our card collection. I have to go through the Trail of Sparks first. Quest. Uh, following the Trail of Sparks. Is this is that what this is? The Trail of Sparks. Hmm. I think. I have to do the Trail of Sparks battle mode. It'd be tough if you haven't completed Gideon's campaign. You also earn coins for winning the duels. Would you like to go to Gideon's campaign now? Well, let's see what happens in battle mode. Let's see, boosters, starter box, or get coins. Let's go with the starter box, and I guess we're going to open this up and uh, see. You started your own collection. Now let's put those cards to good use. Head into battle mode. Don't mind if I do. Put the decks you create to test. Okay. Allows you to play against a wide variety of AI opponents. A great place to practice, learn new strategies, and try out new ideas. Why does it say reconnect? Did I... Play against other players in the ultimate test of skill. Did I get disconnected? Two had a giant neat. Okay. I can't do versus battle right now. Solo battle to a giant my decks. Okay. To a giant team up with a friend to take on a pair of opponents. My decks where you can create and edit decks. Let's try this now. Maybe. It says I'm connected, so why is it. We try. Okay, yeah, I'm connected now. Uh, go to battle mode. Let's see what kind of decks we've got. I tr I'll try to keep this from being... Do I get coins if I play the deck wizard thing, or do I just go for experience? But, mm, let's try step-by-step step and see if we get extra coins. Uh, magical armor? Okay. Let's see, it's black-white. Horde's Thunder? Ah, oh, I do love me some red-green. Control the Sky, lots of flyers, always nice. Ooh, All Out Assault, that would have some double strike stuff, that's what was good. Green White, that's more defensive, yeah. Blue Green Simic, interesting. Red Black, lots of damage. Green Black, ooh, that's tempting. Overwhelming Army of Elves, I might come back to that. The right tools, or from the grave, I think... Ah, I, I'm going with Elves. Elvish Fury. That's an actual card. So yeah, let's double-click that, or I guess create a new deck. Welcome to the Deck Wizard. Welcome to the Deck Wizard. Really? Where we will help you build a deck of your own. To build your deck, move a card from the top half of the screen to the bottom. Any of the suggested cards is a good fit for your deck, so pick the one that you like best. Okay. Uh, step one, Elf Lords. Include creatures and other cards that get better the more Elves you have. Cool. Uh, whenever you cast an elf spell, you may you may put a 1-1 green elf warrior creature token on the battlefield. Jack, can I zoom in on these? Yes, I can. Let's see. Equal to the number of elves, and it can get rid of flyers. That's an interesting idea. Scarred Bind Breeder. Exile an elf, and it gets plus 3, plus 3. Exile an elf from your graveyard. Mm, interesting. Liz Alana, Liz Alana, Scarblade. Discard an elf card, target creature, get minus X, minus X until end of turn, where X is the number of elves you control counterproductive. At least the Huntmaster doubles up my elves. Can I... It's four casting costs. I wouldn't play more than two of them, honestly. And... Let's see. Do I just keep... I guess I have to just keep going. Uh, Elf from your graveyard. You get plus two, plus three. That kind of works. Jagged Scar Archers. Uh, it gets power up as equal to the number of elves, and it works well with this. I could see us playing a few of those. Two. Three of those. Wait, was that... Is that how that worked? What did I just do? Oh, I didn't think this through. Elf Creatures. Pack your deck with... Cheap, aggressive elves to fill the battlefield in the first few turns. Well, yeah, of course. Uh, ooh, Reclamation Sage, yes. 
I'd play three of these, I think. Uh, and then I, I really like this card. I want to play four of them. And that should give me four of those total. Um, I don't want to play more than the two Huntmasters, although I understand how good they are. So it's four mana for three three. It double. It puts out an Elf Warrior token whenever I cast an Elf spell, but it's. I don't know. I'm playing a lot of three costs and four costs. I need to get some mana Elves. Auto complete. Really? Is that is that how that works? I just automatically just throw them in there. Can I take them out? And then I have to put it back. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Now we fill the deck. Monvuli Acid Moss, really? I can I can play that? Where? Uh hmm. Let's see, I've got that. Uh Hunt Beast, it's hexproof. Play a couple of those. Dreg Reaver, four three for five. No. Corpse Holler, return another creature card from your graveyard to your hand. That's not too bad. I see playing a couple of those. Mmm. Bitter Revelation, interesting. Look at the top four cards of your library, put two of them into your hand, the rest in your graveyard, you lose two life. A couple of draw spells like that are good, but that's a lot of that's a lot of casting cost. Let's let's try it. Grave Digger, that would just pull back my creatures. Might as well play two. I need more I need more creatures like uh I need some things to tap for mana. Uh, please. Things to tap for mana? Yes? Can I skip ahead? Fill the deck, 20 to 30 creatures. Yeah, okay. I don't want to auto-complete. I don't want to play... These cost way too high cast costs. At least I can throw that in there. Yeah, but... Uh, more Juggernauts? No. Well, I'll play the card draw, I guess. Uh, drag Reavers. No. Ugh. Course of Might. That's it gives it trample, and I am playing ways to get extra elves out, but I don't want these. They're fine, but they're not that. I mean, maybe I could play it later on. Maybe I could put it in a different deck. I don't want four of them. I feel like I'm just settling for things now. Okay. That's actually okay. Temple yes! Give me the... No! No, 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 no! Give me the mirror! Yes, give me... A no, I want I want more. I want more of the mirrors. Give me more mirror. Give me more mirror. Give me more mirror. I want more mirror. No. I want it. Why would it... Why would it do that to me? Why would it do that to me? I want mirror. Give me mirror. <sighs> okay. Lands. Why can't I get those mirror? Oh, I get these things? Sure. Customize your deck, please. Yes. Um, uh, got anything with an artifact on it? This is a possibility. I like this. No. 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 That's very nice. That's very Phyrexian looking. I like that. That's cute. Kind of Silvari from Guild Wars 2. That's Jace on a bad day. Uh, that's kind of neat. I can juggle, so that'd be kind of neat looking. No. No. Is that a character for Mass Effect? I haven't played Mass Effect. No. That's cool looking. Honestly, that's kind of cool looking. That's a Vidalkin. This is... I assume that your name is Captain Keyfinger. No. That's cool. That's some cool artwork. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I lava this one. Oh, look at that smirk. That's awesome. 
Uh Oh, I hope it talk. I hope the dragon can talk, but I don't I think I'm going to go back to that one. Can I just keep I guess I just have to keep going back. Not the juggler. Not this I don't know if I want to go for the one with the grin. Although it's pretty cool looking. That's definitely a Phyrexian looking thing. Let's go to this one. I like it. And uh, customize it. Oh, I can customize his background? That's neat. I guess. <laughs> it just doesn't quite fit that, that background. That's some. Oh, that's nice artwork right here. That kind of looks like a portal land right there. Looks like he's kind of protecting it. I don't know. Eh. They had anything kind of looking like artifice. Wow, he looks completely out of place there. I like it though. That's kind of neat. That's really cool looking. You have a little bit of a Naya effect thing. That's pretty nice, kind of teetering. I think we're going to go for the one that looked like he really didn't fit. Which one was that? Is it that one? Yeah, let's go with that one. Elvish Fury. Can I change the name? I can. Okay. Skull and Broccoli. Oh, let's try Skull Broccoli. Yes. Skull Broccoli. Skull Broccoli. Oh, boy. Now, can I remake it where it's... Can I modify it? Because I want to put, uh, I want to put more creatures in this. Like, more actual creatures. Skip ahead to this one, please. Okay, so I need my elf lords. Which I guess is what these things are. So I don't like that one. And it looks like I don't have any choice and I just have to play that one. Let's skip, skip, skip. Okay, let's go back. This one, I want more mirror. I want more mirror. Give me more mirror. Why would they offer these lower casting cost cards but not let me have them? I don't want the Gravedigger. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Give me more mirror. Why can't I skip around? I'll play more Corpse Hauler. Sure. Each turn can't be blocked by walls. That does nothing. 4-3 for 5. That does nothing. That's eh, a big creature, I guess. Throw that in there. Well, now I get a perilous mirror. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That. Hmm. Can I throw that back out? Ah, uh, can I get rid of some other cards? I want more perilous mirror. Give me more perilous mirror. Uh. Get rid of crew shock. Can I get rid of the crew? Why can I not get rid of the crew shock? There we go. Revelation. Ugh, why can't I get the mirror? And now I can't get the crew shock back. Can I pull that? And nope. Is it like do it, Is it like I unlock it by pulling on bad cards? Is that how this works? This is ridiculous. Put that up there. Put that up there. Now let's grab the Cursed Spirits. What was underneath it? More Cursed Spirit. What was underneath that? More Cursed Spirit. Anything? Nope. I don't want these. Take them back. No! No, that's not what I'm trying to do. Put that back up there. Put that back up there. Go with the Hexproof creatures there. At least Hexproof. And... I want things that ta uh, give me mana. I have made a terrible mistake. Oh well. These lands have been added to my deck. Another two of these? No, I don't think so. Alright, that's done, sure. And there he is. And Skull Broccoli is the name of our deck. Alright, let's connect. Let's create this. Uh, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Let's play. Now that you have a deck, it's time to put to use Check Out Solar Battle. Give it a go! 
Don't mind if I do. Let's start out with an easy duel. Sure. Okay, easy. It's five gold. Wait, I gained five gold. I thought it was five gold to play. Sure, let's play. Easy. See what happens. That is not my character. I did not pick that character. Is this my opponent? Are you my opponent, friend? Yay! Okay. Opponent plays first. Mulligans. At the beginning of each game, you draw a card of, a hand of seven cards. If you don't like your opening hand, you may take a mulligan, shuffling your hand back into your library and drawing another seven card. If you take a, mull a second mulligan, you draw one fewer cards. So your hand will have six cards. Okay, so you get the first mulligan free. Okay, cool. Do I want to keep this? I have one, two. There's that. I will draw a new hand. That, there, three lands. It's good. And much better cast than keep this hand. Okay. My turn. Ooh, Woodland Cemetery. Well, I will play a forest. And because you won't let me play anything that casts one, I will just skip. Did I have to pause the timer when I do things now? Okay. It's my turn. Forest. I'm drawing a lot of lands. Play that. Play that. Tip abilities. One of your cards has an ability that can be activated. Select the card and zoom in. See, select the ability you wish to activate. So, yeah, let's play Skill Quest. Probably get some gold from the Skill Quest. I mean, that's what you've done previously. Some creatures have activated abilities. Abilities that let you pay a cost at any time to have an effect on the game. That's right. These costs can include tapping the creature, paying mana, or sacrificing the creature by putting it into the graveyard. Yeah. You can activate abilities at any time. Unless it says Stopping otherwise. Stopping the timer gives you more time to activate an ability. Thank you, Janet. To complete this skill quest, survive your opponent's attack and win on your next turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, to activate the ability, pay the cost. You can activate these abilities anytime you can cast an instant. This ability will go on the stack. The players may respond to it. As the ability resol resolves, you follow the instructions on the effect. Once you activate an ability, destroying its source and response will stop the ability. Right. Can't stop the grenade while it's in the middle of the air. All right. So it's their main phase. They go to the attack phase. And uh, to use a creature's activated ability, zoom in on that creature. Remember, you can zoom in on any card by moving the cursor over it and scrolling the mouse wheel up. All right. Okay. Back. So I want to activate the ability. Okay. Stopped. Uh, activate the ability. How do I... Okay, didn't say how I actually... Wait, did it. That's how I do it. Okay. That one right there. I tap them in. Okay, so I press that little arrow to target something. Okay. They end their turn. Or the damage... No damage was dealt. They play a land. Neat. My turn. I, yeah, I draw land. Why not? Go to combat. Swing out with Cyclops of One-Eyed Pass. Confirm the attack and deal five damage to the training drone. Yay! Five, two, two, one, yes. Congratulations! Activated abilities give your creatures hey. added versatility to handle a wide range of threats. Darn right they do. Alright, so activated abilities is a thing. If we go back to the current game, I have that activated ability. It's now their turn. They will twin bolt my creature, dealing one damage to me and one damage to it. Well, I can't do anything about that, so yay! Whatever. Does that make you happy? Opponent with no name? Do you have a name? You, can I zoom in on you? That's your name, opponent. So that one. And I think we're going to go with the... 
I think we're actually just gonna hold off and see if we can get out the Huntmaster. It's like getting out tokens. <coughs> right, they've got four mana. Good for them. Primal Hunt Beast. How how nice. Yes, okay. Hexproof. There's a thing that let's see, it has power toughness equal to the number L. Mana tapping button on cycle three available mana comics play. Okay, don't show me that again. Play the hunt master. So I have a 3-3, three, three, you have a 3-3, three, three, but I might get some extra effects out of my 3-3. Three, three. Maybe. Yeah, land, and will you bolt my creature? No, you're just going to attack. I will let it through. No blocks. Oh, ah, ooh, e. And then, Juggernaut. <whistles> okay. All right. That is a thing. My turn. Reclamation Sage. Well, what I'm going to do is cast the Scarred Vine Breeder. Get an elf token. And the Huntmaster. Yes. And one of your cards is ability that can be activated. Select the cards. Yeah, I, I saw that actually. Now we're going to cast the Reclamation Sage and target the Juggernaut. There we go. Take that, Juggernaut. Now attack step. I think we'll go ahead and swing out for three. Deal some damage to our opponent. Another Juggernaut. Interesting. Well, that's fine. My turn. Golgari Guildgate comes into play tapped. Are you going to tell me about it? No? Okay. I'll play the Jagged Scar Archers. It will be a 5-5, but actually it will be a... It's actually going to be bigger than that. Costs 3... And I can force their uh, Juggernaut to attack, which means I'll just block it with my big creature. <clears throat> Achievement unlocked. Hunting party. You can't activate its... Yeah, because it has summoning sickness. But it is a 7-7. Seven, seven. He won't want to swing out, but he has to swing out with the Juggernaut. Um, if I attack with the Huntmaster, they can just block, so I'm just going to skip attack. So this ability is I can exile the card from my graveyard to give it plus three plus three. Okay. Let's zoom back out. They play to land. And they have to attack. So we go to block. Oh, block attacking both of them, huh? Well, what I'm going to do is block this guy. And I'll take the five. I'll go to eleven. They have six mana. They might be able to do some extra damage. My creature survives. This will have to attack next turn anyway. You control an artifact gets plus two plus zero and has trample. Okay. Well, I know I'm going to get rid of your artifact then. Creatures trample will deal enough combat damage to its blockers to destroy them. It deals the rest to the defending player. It has to deal all destroy all of the blocker creatures to do that. Let's see. A land. I have enough mana to cast both of these, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do the Bitter Reflection. Put two of these into my opening hand. One. Two. Confirm. And I'll lose two life. Now I will play the Reclamation Sage. Yeah. Target that. Juggernaut. Get another elf token. And I will target the Juggernaut, destroying it. Now, I think... 
tokens. It's just a 3 3 creature. I think I'm going to actually swing out. Force their hand. They can't possibly deal enough damage to kill it by blocking. And I've got more than enough blockers. Unless they cast Earthquake or something. Yeah, they blocked. Alright. It's past turn. Another land. Seven mana. Let's play Atarka. Alright, I think I actually have enough to just deal all the damage now. Let's see, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 damage. Yeah, I, I could just do it now. So let's just go to combat, swing out with everything, and see if they cast Fog. <laughs> Select all, swing out, confirm the attack. Yep, that should be game. Whoa. Oof. Keep going. Yeah. So I got some gold for that. That's pretty neat. Continue. Now, Archetype Paragon, I would need to win four duels with a black-white or black-green archetype deck. Hunting Party. I controlled six elves. Neat. Jenny, I hope you're watching this. I hope you're proud. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, opponent. Congratulations, you've constructed your own deck and taken on Powerful Planeswalkers, plural. You have unlocked every play mode. Alright. If you need more help, help and options has a lot of useful information. Aw, but I prefer Janet. New quests are given out every day. They're a great way to try new things and earn coins to improve your collection. Hey, nice. I might. I might just do that. With Win four duels with a deck you built in the deck builder. Archetype Paragon, Archetype Paragon. Okay. As a community, complete the final duel in Nissa's campaign 3,500 times. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, we got six more days to do that. That's pretty cool. I gotta... Huh. I, 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 I'll try to get there. But uh, I think I learned some stuff. Quests. Distilled knowledge. Achievements. Got quite a few achievements. That's pretty cool. Let's, let's go to the store. Let's, uh, how do we get coins? Oh, gosh, no. Uh, boosters. One booster is 150 coins. Two boosters is 300 coins. There's six cards per booster. You know what? Because I couldn't finish the, uh, Airboss Titan duel because of the, the, uh, problem with it, uh, crashing, I think I'll, I'll buy a booster. Let's see what was in it. And... I hope, uh, yeah. Let's see what's in it. Fiery Impulse. Molten Vortex was our rare... That's a cool card. Gosh. Thornbow Archer. Whenever it attacks, each opponent who doesn't control an elf loses one life. Nice. Valoran Warden. As Renown. And Aspiring Aeronaut. You know what? That's pretty cool. Let's check out our card collection. New. Angelic Edict. New. Boonweaver Giant. Dauntless River Marsher, Divine Favor, Elite Vanguard. Neat. Uh, these are the own... Oh, what are my own cards? Huh. Whoa. Also neat. Also neat. Wow. This is... Wow, this is a lot. And one Woodland Cemetery. Huh. I need to... I need to figure out how to build a deck and actually put in all the cards I want to play. Like, I want I want my mana producers. Oh, Sunblade Elf, I want to play that. Uh, Perilous Mirror, I want to play those. Yeah, why can't I... Well, obviously, I need to keep reading into how things work. And uh, I'll keep playing and keep enjoying this game. And I hope you're enjoying watching this. <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful morning, a wonderful afternoon, or a wonderful evening. And I hope tomorrow is even better. 
take care, everybody.